So I want you to think about this group of people that we just read about. Of all the things they could be doing in this moment, of all the things that they could be doing to strategize, of all the things they could have been doing to build up their church, they chose to spend some intentional time in worship and fasting. Now, I want you to really think about this because there's a lot of things they could have been. If this would have been us, we would have turned this into uh, let's all gather and we're going to have a convention on a cutting edge ways of how to make our church better. Are we going to have all these? We're going to have a conference of how to make our church grow and how we're going to get millions of people back into our church. We've been scattered, but we're going to send out postcards. We're going door to door witnessing. We're going to have a preacher thon. We're going to have a, a citywide revival. We're going to get together. We got preachers and teachers on its own. We're about to just have a whole all night prayer. But that's not what they did. They took some intentional time to look into their usness. Y'all remember our usness? That's who we are, our usness. Now I want you to think about that. After all that was going on, y'all following me? They took time to pause. I want you to really think about this. All the persecution, all the drama they have been through, they could have easily been like, hey, let's get together. We need to come up with a plan. Instead, they took time to pause to take some time to come together corporately and to take some time and just seek the Lord to pause.